Verisite. Verisite is a mineral named after the Latin Bericia, the whole name for the Vogtland region in Germany, where it was catalogued and identified for the first time. This mineral appears as an aluminum phosphate dehydrate and is deposited as a cementing material. Along with quartzite, schists are some igneous rocks in its formation stage. The presence of octahedral ions of chromium is responsible for the absorption bands that cause the vibrant green color of varicite. From this color, varicite is often confused with chrysochloa, chrysoprase, and turquoise, as it is available as microcrystalline crystals. Having generally no industrial value, varicite is often cut in cabochons for jewelry as its hardness is between 4 and 5 on the Mohs hardness scale, which makes it very soft. As an experienced stone cutter, I believe varicite is an easier material to carve, whereas a stone like obsidian is much harder to work with. Since I found this mineral, I've been fascinated by its usage for jewelry starting around 5000 BCE. Lately, I read in the Nuclear Instruments and Methods in Physics Research B journal on how varicite would be heavily used in peculiar areas like the Iberian Peninsula and Spain. Even if it is quite a rare mineral there, its usage peaked around 3500 BCE when the popularity of alpine jade as a green ornamental material dipped. Varicite's green use would have made it the perfect mineral for the jewelry market, as it was a safe alternative to minerals like malachite, its dust being poisonous. Although color is a fantastic tool to identify minerals, it is probably the weakest. Varicite is no exception to this rule. Some varicite deposits exist in Brazil and Australia, with a peculiar color, red. Therefore, the color of varicite can range from all shades of green, including bluish green to deep red to pink, and even white, colorless or brown. The rare red version of varicite is named Ferian varicite for the presence of iron that gives it its red color. In mineralogy, Ferian always means the presence of Fe3 plus ions. So with this in mind, more is needed to identify varicite. For example, its fracture is called conchoidal. That means a good break of the mineral will show an amorphous and shell-like pattern in a concave cavity. Furthermore, when varicite is in the form of macrocrystals, its crystal system is called orthorhombic. Orthorhombic means a rectangle with three unequal faces at right angles from each other. Those are only a few characteristics that are available to identify varicite. And as shown in this video, the next time someone tells you varicite is green, you can confidently say the sensor is incomplete. For more on everything about minerals, visit my channel, Mindex. Thank you for sticking to the end, and please, do not forget to caldera the like and subscribe buttons. Peace out.